I got to go back to last Friday, you guys, for our conversation. So if you guys watched, or if you watched regularly last Friday, well, okay, no, let, me, let me rewind that. There's this post that's going around, right? It says repost, and then it goes to this whole story about a woman going to a swim pool. Um, I think it was on Good Morning America now, like somebody was featured. And I think that the author of it, I don't really know, but I think she was writing it as an example. I don't think she was literally sitting at a swim pool, like watching this go down, but it was a representation of, of what, some, like, what some of our Insta world has become. And you guys go back and watch Fridays if you want to fully hear the full gamut of it. But the, the synopsis was that this woman goes to the pool and she does all these things to arrange the perfect Insta photo. Um, and instead of playing with her kid, she's just arranging for the photo and she bounces. All right. So uh, and it's very detailed. It's very well written. And, and it was a really good example. It is a really good example for us to pull in the idea that you want to capture memories and share memories, not not make them up. Like like living an unauthentic life so that you can show this presence out in the world just makes other people feel like shit. Like awesome, you got 250 likes, who cares, right? It wasn't even a real picture. So that was the whole point um, last week about learning how to be authentically you and being okay. If it is messy, like great, whatever. It doesn't need to be perfect, right? But I had this incredible post on my on, on one of my comments and I cannot find it. Maybe she deleted it, I'm not sure. Um, or maybe I'm just really bad at finding stuff, which is very, very possible. But it was a reaction. Um, it was a reaction to the story. And she said, you know, I want to share, I want to share maybe a different perspective. And I freaking loved it. And I want to share it with you guys. Okay. And I was going to read it, but since I can't find it, I'm just going to do my own version and it's not going to be nearly as good as hers. So if you're watching this and you can find it and tag me in it or send it to me, let me know so I can share it with everyone because it should be shared just as often. And she said, okay, so if you guys read the email, you know what I'm talking about. She said, what about this pers for perspective? Okay. So this woman's taking her daughter to the pool and she's super excited about it. And she, she just had gotten mix, like matching swimsuits from her mother-in-law because they talk about how she's like, everything's perfect, right? She had just gotten this, like, these little matching suits, these swimsuits, and she had to dig through all the dirty laundry to find it because she wanted us to, to be able to wear that and her little sun hat. And they applied sunscreen and they got all ready and they got in the car and they were off to the pool. And you know she, she put all this effort into like getting herself ready, right? And then as she's going there, she gets a call from a friend who's having a really, really hard time. And she really, like, she really, needs her there's something going on in her world so she's having a, a, a listening ear right for her friend and she gets to the pool and so because in the other story the woman's on the phone she's distracted she's not even paying attention right but now she's listening to her friend and she's like oh my gosh this girl has something going on and, and while she's listening and her daughter's sitting there waiting to play she's setting everything up you know she's she's focused on the conversation and she sets out the towel and she lays out the sunscreen in case she needs it later because one of the explanations was like she lays out sunscreen and doesn't even put sunscreen on her kid right so she lays that out and she gets everything Thing and she's like setting up for a picture before they go swimming and she's still talking to her friend and they take a couple pictures and then afterwards she's like my friend really just needs me like there's something going on in the world like I'm sorry baby girl we can't go swimming today we gotta I, I know we didn't even get to do any of this stuff we'll go home and we'll we'll run through the sprinklers with our with you know you can run through the sprinklers with her her kids and I need to be there for her and it was such a different, interesting perspective, right? Because here we are on the other one, which was a great post, right? Completely judging this woman, completely judging her when we don't even know what her story is, right? Um, and, and let me just tell you, there are instances, there are moments where people are insta-living fake lives. They are, they're, they're setting it all up and they're portraying something that they're not. Absolutely, does that happen? For sure. But now it's like we swing the pendulum and we look at someone and we start judging because it looks like maybe they are doing that. or. or or why is all their stuff perfect? Maybe they're just that organized. Maybe they just really like fashion and they do wear matchy matchy outfits. Maybe they like that they're just that that's their personality. They shouldn't be judged because they're organized. They shouldn't be judged because um, they have like taste or, or style or whatever that is, right? And I, I feel like the, the post of original one has a great representation of don't build an insta fake life for sure. But for all of us, don't judge the people that are around you, right? For every single one of us, because you don't know her story. You don't know his story. You might think that it looks perfect, but it's hard for them too. And the post continued on to talk about even a little more things, you guys, is that some people, they're watching that world. They want to they wanna have the messy, crazy mom life you know, finger paint all over and be able to stay home with their kids. But instead they have to go to work. Like, like maybe, maybe you're judging or we're judging 
their like perfect, you know, perfect world with the with all the nice stuff and everything's matching and everything is gorgeous and like it looks like it's just you know everything's wonderful, right? But they're watching you, thinking, "Damn, I wish I could throw up my messy bun and my smudged up glasses and go sit in the backyard, my weed filled pool because I didn't have to go to work that day." Like I would love that. I would trade that in any day for that exact like exact beautiful setup at the pool. So none of us have it exactly right. Right? <laughs> I love it, Doria. Uh, morning, Tanya. Morning, all my friends that have been joining. None of us, none of us have it exactly right. Right? And, and, and the, the worst thing, thing that any of us can do is judge one another for what's going on in their world. Now, at the end of this, I would say live authentically still. That was the whole point. Live authentically. Be authentically you. And if authentically you is perfectly put together and it's, and it's this gorgeous like setup, awesome. Capture the moment right? And maybe you're trying to get better at organization. Maybe you're trying to get better at that. Then great. Try to be better at it. You know, work on it. But, um, you know, the, the point of the first one was don't have a made up story for something you're not actually enjoying. Be present, be in the moment, right? And, um, if, if whoever's watching, I, I don't, I honestly don't even remember because I was reading so many comments. So if you're watching and you're the one who had that post, I think that one's worth sharing just as much as the first. And, and, and do the, the whole repost to that because you have a great perspective of what could have been going on that woman's world. And this goes for anything, you guys. This isn't just for this situation, but we judge one another all the time. You know, you walk in and somebody's in a bad mood and you're judging them. Like, why are they, why are they being frustrated with me? Why are they being angry? You don't, know, you don't know if somebody just passed away in the world. You don't know if they're having an emotional time. You don't know what's going on in their marriage. You don't know what's going on with their relationship with their kids. They could be having a shit storm and, and you're judging or, or you know, being offended by the way they're acting, right? And you just don't know. So either ask, if you want to know, ask, hey, what's going on in your world? Can I help you? Can I support you, right? And, and, or, or just go about and do you. Do you, boo, right? That's what I said in mind. Like, just be you. So, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for that alternative perspective. This goes great with our Noticer book we just watched. Um, and, and just, I think, for all of us, what? Watch what you're saying in your head. Watch the mean things that are coming into your mind because you don't know, all right? Um, last piece is here because it's July. Happy July, you guys. Uh, number one, we have new book club starting. So even if you don't want to read our book but you want some accountability for reading, it's just a Facebook Messenger. We just like talk a little bit more about what we're reading. It kind of just forces us to do it. We do do live meetings once a week if you'd like to join those. And we're diving into psychology. I love studying the mind. So we're diving into psychology a little bit more about um, what you think and how you can create things. So if you're interested in book club, let us know. We can add you to that. And then we start a new abs challenge and a new weight loss challenge on July 5th. So if you guys are interested in working your core um, or you're work, like, interested in winning money because you lose weight and get some coaching on that, it does include coaching that's uh, six, six weeks long um, and it's just the 25 bucks and all that goes towards the prize pot. So um, I love that, Daria, I'm reading your post too. Um, you guys read each other's comments because you guys have a lot of really good things to say. If I could like pull you guys into the video, I absolutely would because there's a lot of great things to share out there. So that's what we have going on for July, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning, my sunshines. Uh, if you guys are committed to something, so do all your hearts, all your loves. Um, right now you're committing, uh, you're committed to not judging. And, and I mean, it's gonna happen, like it's gonna accidentally just seep into your pores every once in a while, but catch yourself and think, I don't know what's going on in her world, I don't know what's going on in his world, and I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna judge. Just smile at them, maybe they just need some love, right? Because you just don't know. All right, love you guys, have a beautiful Monday, and we'll see many of you for a workout here in about 30 minutes. Bye.